Uh, we're going to be finishing up this uh, series on the Holy Spirit this week, and, and today we're going to be talking about sanctification. And, and sanctification is uh, really just a, a wonderful thing and, and a, w a wonderful teaching, but it's not a word we use very often. And, and so sanctification is really a partnership with the Holy Spirit. It's a partnership with what the Holy Spirit is doing. So as we look at this, we, when we look at the word sanctification, uh, it, the word actually means to be set apart. So somehow or another, you're, you're set apart. Now, in my growing up, that meant that you, you were removed kind of out of the world. You know, you don't smoke, you don't drink, you don't gamble, and you don't date people that do. You know, and so you just removed yourself away from these kinds of things. Uh, and, and that's not what this is all about. It's being set apart for the mission and purpose of God in the world. So it's really a whole different kind of concept. So as we look at what is sanctification, it's the fact that you've been set apart for what God is doing in this world. And, and so as, as Christians, it's just the process by which we do this. And what it amounts to is, is something quite unique. In, in the prayer that Jesus was praying in, uh, in John, it says this, uh, in, in Jesus is praying, and he says, Make them sanctified, for they are sanctified in your truth. Teach them your word, which is truth. Just as you've sent me into the world, I am sending them into the world. And I give myself as a holy sacrifice for them, so they can be made holy by your truth. You know, that, that sense of, the, the being sanctified in that statement that you are sanctified, that the process of sanctification is already started, it's not done. Sanctification is kind of that sense of becoming. That if we're going to partner with the Holy Spirit, if we were to say, okay, what, what is this all about? It's about becoming. That means you're not done yet. So turn to the person next to you and say, you're not finished yet. What you don't want to say is you've got a long way to go. You just want to say you're not finished. And, and so that, that sense of that we're on this journey of something significant. And, and in this journey, it's what is that partnership? What is that mission that God is up to? And I think that's the biggest question because sanctification is basically saying, you know, I'm gonna, I, I want to partner with you. And, and the Holy Spirit says that's exactly what I want. For, for this mission, and God's mission is that God is doing something right now. God is on the move in this world. God is active. God is really doing ministry now. It's not a God that's distant or created the earth and said, good luck. But God's right here, right now, doing something. And I believe that God's mission is really this, that God is about bringing beauty, grace, justice and love into the world. That that's what the mission of God, the purpose of God is all about. And God does it in a variety of ways. And so this partnership is to basically say, okay, I'm becoming part of this mission. I'm becoming the person I was created to be in this process so that I can be part of what God's doing, bringing grace, bringing love, bringing justice, bringing beauty into this world. And that's really what sanctification is all about. It's engaging in that process. And uh, for some of us, I, I, you know, metamorphosis, I love that. I mean, we know about this process in biology, right? I mean, uh, I'll, you know, I used to call them, you know, inchworms and stuff. They actually become things. And, and caterpillars become things. They become what they were created to be through the process of metamorphosis. And so the, in that process, you know, they actually, through that, become what they were created to be. And so that whole idea of sanctification is really the same process. That in this, it's a spiritual metamorphosis that we are becoming the very person we were created to be. 
And that is really kind of fun, to engage God in, in this whole process. You know, uh, runners are, are, are fun. I'm not a runner. I, I don't know if you can tell. Oh, I'm not. Uh, I, runners are, are usually uh, in shape. We're not even going to go there. But uh, Paul describes this process in, in such a unique way using the idea of runners. It says, I do everything to spread the good news and to share God's blessings. Don't you realize that in a race everybody runs, but only one person really gets the prize? So run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win the prize that will fade away. But we do this ministry for the eternal prize. So I run with purpose in every step. I am not just shadow boxing. I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what it should. Otherwise, I fear that after preaching and sharing the good news to others, I myself might be disqualified. So that, that sense of, of running, in, you know, in an athlete doesn't just show up one day to, to race. For instance, if I were to race, I might make it to the back wall before I'd have to stop. And then I'm done. But athletes, runners, they, they practice, they run, and they run, and they go to trainers, and they learn how to run more effectively. Painters, artists, I mean, they, there's this whole world I mean, when you, you do painting, you know, if I had a canvas and had a whole bunch of paint, it would not turn into a masterpiece because I haven't done the work. I, I don't know how to use the colors in a way that would make a picture jump. And so uh, an artist spends years developing, learning, growing, becoming. It's, it's an amazing thing. And a dancer. When I dance, my daughter rolls her eyes. It's not pretty. And the reason she does is because I have no meaning or purpose to what I'm doing. I'm just kind of moving. You know, but a dancer trains their body, practices, emphasizes, moves with purpose, because every movement has a meaning. It, it's explaining or, or communicating something. And, and a dancer does something that, that just you, you just can't do any other way. You can't communicate it any other way. Musicians. Amazing. I mean, when you get up to a piano and, and little kids that just pound on the piano, you know, that's me. I don't know how to put... The, the notes and the chords and, and things in place. But a musician takes time, studies, practices, gets involved in the, the whole process and slowly but surely becomes a work of art. And some of them study under masters of, of this art and they, they just amazingly, you know, come up with songs that communicate, like today, the Holy Spirit. I mean, that was beautiful. But it doesn't just happen. It takes time. You know, uh, I was in the bucket line in Mexico, or not the bucket line, but the, the mixing line. And so we were mixing concrete, and, and it, it was, you know, it had been a long day. And, and Emily, we were, we were standing there about to, to get in line. She goes, you know, isn't this great? This is so awesome. We get to be used by God to help these awesome people. And I went, that's it. That's exactly it. And she knew about hard work. Matter of fact, the girls were the best mixers on the trip. It's true. They, were, they, they just had the timing, everything down, because they, they worked hard at it. And, and, and her expression to say, this is so great to be here that I get to be a part of what God's doing to help these awesome people. You know, that is as really getting at this whole idea. You know, and you and I have gifts. 
We all have abilities. We have strengths that, that uh, we're just hardwired with. And, and we want to learn how to use those. I mean, you can do that whole process and learn about your personality and all these things and use your personalities and identify who you are and, and really have a great experience in all of that uh, process. But sanctification is taking all of your strengths, all of your gifts, all your abilities and dovetailing with the Holy Spirit to say, okay, I want to use all that I am for your purpose. And that's why we have on-purpose ministry here. We encourage you to get into a small group or part of a ministry team doing a ministry, to be involved with women's ministry or men's ministry. I mean, we want you to dive in because Jesus came to this earth to fully engage us. Like in the Shema, it, it talked about today, that Jesus came to fully engage us with all of his heart, all of his mind, all of his soul, and all of his strength. And, and in sanctification, it's really that process of us going, okay, that's what I want to do. I'm going to respond. I'm, I want to be in this. I'm going I'm to be part of this. And that's where we say, okay, I'm going to fully engage or, or at least engage my heart, my passions, my emotions in this process. I'm going to engage my soul, my spirit, my spiritual journey in this process of, of what you're doing, God. I'm going to engage my mind, my questions, my thoughts, my, my whole mental capacity into this. I'm going to engage my strength, what I do, how I act, where I go. I'm going to engage my strength in this process. And it's really what that, this is all about because God in, invites us into this sanctification. God's saying, I just want this to be part of who you are. And God invites us with open arms saying, just allow myself to love you because I am yours, God says, and you are mine. Let's partner together to make this happen. But for me... Uh, you know, there's, there's some things. I don't know if you know this about me, but sometimes I, I don't trust. I, I don't know if you have this problem. Sometimes God's hard to trust. Sometimes God, uh, when things go wrong, it, you know, you, you blame God, and, and, and rightfully so sometimes. But, you know, in this process of sanctification, it, it comes to... A, a, a point where we have to say, okay, how do I trust you, God, with my past? You know, and, and the beauty about church is we can take some time and, and we can really engage God with our confession and just let our past go. But how do we trust you with today, God? And how do we trust you tomorrow? And that was really the question that, that came to me, is, you know, if I really want to engage in... in and partner with the Holy Spirit to become the person I was created to be, there's an element that I have, to, I have to begin to learn to trust. And that's why we need each other. Because we help each other in this process. That's why we, we need to get involved because it's in getting involved that we learn about trusting God more. Because it's so easy to get caught up in everyday life. I had a couple conversations after the last service where it's so easy that, that we forget and we lose our focus and it becomes so difficult to trust and so in that process for me I, I just how is it I, I, I trust and so uh, we've been doing uh, spiritual exercises as a staff and as a different ministry here in Trinity and in that process there's a breath prayer I love this breath prayer uh, because it gives me a chance to refocus and, and to, to uh, really begin to say, okay, this is what I really want, because I want to trust Jesus. I want to partner with Jesus. I want to be part of that mission that, that is bringing beauty and grace and love and justice to this world. I want that. And so I want to connect. And so th for me, this breath prayer was very helpful. And so what we're going to do is we're going to practice so we're going to take it in a breath and about a count to three to five, and then we're going to exhale it uh, the same way. So just, just to kind of get there, all right? So let's breathe in. Ready?
You're masters. That's good. Let's do it again. Ready? And so what we're going to do is the, the prayer I have, in, and you can decide if you want to pray it or not, but for me this has kind of been the prayer as I've been digging into sanctification again. My prayer of my heart is, God, I want to become the person I was created to be because it's really about that. So we're going to just do it three times to focus in, relax, shut out everything else around us, breathe in, and then say, God, I want to become and then as you exhale, the person I was created to be. Let's breathe in. God, I want to become the person I was created to be. God, I want to become the person I was created to be. God, I want to become the person Thank you, God. Thank you for inviting us in to this process. Help us to become the people you created us to be so that we can partner with you to bring beauty, love, justice, and hope to this world. In your name we pray. Amen.